If I had to count how many bagels I ate during the years I lived in London, I think I would lose count. It didn't stop me from wanting to make them at home, South Tyrol style. This is really one of my favorite recipes for brunch. The pretzels and the laugen are never missing in the South Tyrolean bakeries. With the same technique, I've decided to make bagels. And I've prepared three tasty fillings for you. Laying out a proper brunch is very simple. Just a few delicious recipes, a table to lay out on, and many ingredients from South Tyrol. Work with me and start setting the table because everything is ready here. I'm Stefano Cavada and this is my brunch, made in South Tyrol. Okay, let's start with the dough. Mix the flour with the yeast. Make a pit in the center and add salt, sugar, cumin seeds. Add the water and start the stand mixer with the hook and knead at low speed until the flour is fully mixed. Increase the speed and leave it to knead for about 8 to 9 minutes. Remove the hook and cover the bowl with cling film and leave it to stand for 20 minutes. The dough does not need to double in volume. Meanwhile, preheat the static oven at 220 degrees Celsius. Fill a fairly large pot with 3 quarters of water and heat it up until it simmers. Now everything is ready for the baking of the bagels. Split the dough into 12 pieces. Fold the corner of the dough downwards to form a sphere and then work it in this way on a surface. Lay out the balls on the tray and leave them covered for 10 minutes. Now the magic to transform the dough into perfect bagels. Pinch the dough in the center and then insert two fingers and rotate it until the characteristic hole is formed. Lay them back on the tray and let them rest for another 10 minutes. Add 4 tablespoons of baking soda to the simmering water. Be careful, because it could start to bubble and spit hot water. Drop the bagels in the water, making sure that the hole hasn't closed up. If it has, quickly swipe in two fingers to enlarge the hole a little bit. Boil for one minute per side. Drain them and place them on the baking tray with biking paper. Brush the surface with egg and sprinkle on a few salt flakes or coarse sea salt. Bake them in the oven for 16 minutes. I know you would like to bite into them straight away, but leave them to rest for 30 minutes before filling them. The first version will be with cream cheese, mountain herbs and some small trout fillets. Second version, cream cheese, a few slivers of apple, soft roll pig and rocket. Of course, there has to be a sweet version. Cream cheese and raspberry jam. There we go, and now I'm really hungry. But I'm really curious to know which of these three is your favorite. I really fell in love with this recipe and I think it will also please my guests. What do you think?